Hi guys, welcome to FM Stitches TV, your number one TV. This is where we'll bring you all the politics, sports, entertainment, documentary and lifestyle. I'm here at Nike Art Gallery. It's a very beautiful and amazing place. In fact, you need to come to visit. It's along the airport road. Please come visit, please come visit. And before you go, subscribe, like and drop your comments. I'll be right back. African art, craft and painting is a profession that requires particular skills and knowledge of creative work in an historical and cultural sense. Art, craft and painting symbolizes cultural important styles, tribes and ethnic identity. Art skills have been practiced for centuries. Crafting is one of the oldest professions in Africa. It's a symbol of Africa's historical culture and past legends. Art, craft and painting is what we are known for as a continent and it describes a wide range of activity that involve handmade things. The history of art, craft and painting in Nigeria, Africa, to be precise, could, cannot be completed without Nike Art Gallery, which actually brings me to the story of Chief Oyenike Monika Divas Okundayo. Chief Mrs. Oyenike Divas was born in 1951 in Ogunde, Ijumo, Kogi State, Nigeria. She grew up learning the common craft, traditional weaving and dyeing practice from her parents and her grandmother, who were musicians and craftspeople and specializes in the area of clothes weaving, adire making, and dyeing. And she spent her teenage years in Oshogbo one of the major center for art and culture in Nigeria. She learned adire and dyeing production from the famous Oshobo Art School. With this training, she discovered a passion for textiles design in adire and bantka. From her first exhibition in 1968 in Nigeria Institute, Nike has since grown to become one of the major names in the international art world. She has had over 102 solo art exhibitions and 36 group art exhibitions in her artistic life. Chief Mrs. Oye Nike holds so many traditional chieftains title. Most of Nike's artwork can be found in homes, private and public institutes, schools, colleges, universities, palaces, museums all over the world. Chief Oye Nike lives and works in Nigeria. She is married with children and grandchildren. The artist has used her international success to launch a cultural revival in Nigeria, founding four art centers in different states in Nigeria. This center offers free trainings to over 150 young artists in visual music, performing art and painting. The most popular in the Art Nike Gallery is located in Lagos, Nigeria. It is the largest art gallery in West Africa, comprises over 7,000 artwork. The gallery serves as a rich source of knowledge center for traditional art and culture to scholars and institute. Nike art design have been promoted through exhibition and workshop in USA, Germany, Australia, Italy, and the United Kingdom. Nike Art Gallery aim to positively transform the extinct neglected art craft and painting industry in Nigeria to ensure an enabling environment for the younger generation and the growth of Africa cultural heritage. Chief Mrs. Oyenike is such a wonderful, accommodating, loving, hardworking woman who loves to always have people around her. She is known for her role in empowering women by teaching them the art of adire, traditional dye and and clothing. She also educates women on how to use art as a tool to accomplish their noble mission and fulfill their dream as artists. Chief Mrs. Oyenike also educates the Western women on how to make African adire, local food, and as well as African culture. So, art, craft, and painting still remain a language of material things that help to unite, relate with the beauty of Africa culture tradition, ensuring handmade things aren't cheap but valued and monetized. African art, craft, and painting is the story 
of Africa. You're looking very, very gorgeous and admirable. You're looking like African queen. So, mommy, can we meet you? Yes, my name is Chief Dr. Nike Okundaye, the owner of Nike Art Gallery, Lagos, Oshogo, Oshun State, Kogi, Ogidi, Ijumo, in Kogi State, and the one in Abuja here. Okay. Mommy, please, can you give us a brief history about yourself? Yes, okay, my name, as I told you, my name is Nike. So, my, I was born into a craft family. This craft, when we say craft, in those days, if your daddy is a carpenter, they teach you how to be a carpenter. I'm a fifth generation of textile. So my great-great-grandmother, they are weavers. And they weave, they also, when they weave, they know how to do the whole process of hand woven. So then my mother's uh, sister is an adire maker. My father worked with Asin Demade, which means they put the beads to make a hat. And who are buying those hats in those days? The Igbo. Even the women that the women are making is bought by the people they call Elewon. They make that cloth for the Elewon people. That is why it's very thick. It's hand spun, hand woven. They call it Kijikwa. So that is what I learned, the way they pass education to kids. That is what I learned from my parents. So that is how I started when I finished primary six and I don't have money to go to school. Then I started mastering on what they teach me. So what's your advice to the artists and the upcoming generation? My advice to the upcoming generation is for them to have a focus. Whatever they know how to do, they should do it well and also know how to package themselves. Have a focus. And then don't buy what you don't need. Put your money back into your business. You will see all these rich people. Go to the internet today. You will see uh, Facebook. They are using a car under $10,000. So they put their money back into their business. Some people will be making only 30000 And then they now go and buy a telephone of 50000 You don't buy what you don't need. You have to put your money to work. And I always tell people, you don't re borrow money to rent. And no, you have to work hard. You start your business small and build it up. So by the time you... So I will just say, patient and focus is what the young people need. Thank you so much, my friend.